As we continue part two of our series on the 1970 Black Power Revolution, we speak to Tigre, his real name Stanley Anthony Antoine. He's a fighter, activist, and was a political prisoner on Nelson Island. This year marks the 45th anniversary of the revolution and the many struggles made for the advancement of Trinidad and Tobago. But Tigre says a lot has changed since 1970 and he laments that all they fought for seems to be lost. We just tune in that here, we take, we take the message and raise the head to approve yourself and the family. Why go don't do this now? I is 75 that you don't do this now. I will be here. I did my part already. Tigre stood in his cell remembering the time he spent there. He remembers how things were when they were first taken to the cell. There, and I'm back here. I piss him. That's my life. The struggle for equality was one that the Black Power Revolution brought to the forefront in TNT. In some cases, it was violent, with many losing their lives to end the oppression they observed back then. Activist and former detainee Clive Nunes says revolution started for the country, but he too says that all that the Black Power activists fought for is disappearing. 1970 brought fundamental changes to this society, not even Butler. Butler was more the trade union only and it you ricocheted right up the West Indies. Apicio Mutupe adds that no leader has really taken the reins of governing this country, a country where many lost their lives to improve it. When you have positive, focused and committed leadership, your country will, will, is likely to, to follow those lines. If you don't, well, you know, but if the society produces its, its leaders, you know, if there's no seed there to grow, you know, not, nothing, nothing much is going to come out of it. But we, we need, that is one of the things that we need to, to look, look back on as far as 1970 is concerned, that there was proper leadership, there was commitment, there was dedication. It was not a question of people doing it for a salary. People left their, their, their jobs daily and came out to march. It was a different time. Over 100 revolutionaries were arrested in April 1970 for various offenses including the nine leaders for sedition. With the memory of what transpired still rich in the minds of those who fought in the 1970s, they hope that one day citizens will pay homage to the struggle and sacrifices made for the Trinidad and Tobago they now call home. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News, Nelson Island.